What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Red River Aviation. Hope you guys have a fantastic day today. And today we have a video on my full 1 to 400 scale American Airlines collection for you guys. I really hope you guys are excited for today's video. And with all that being said, let's begin. So as you guys can tell, I have the full collection out here for the collection video. And I thought it would be a bunch of fun to do a full collection video on my 1 to 400 scale American Airlines collection. Um, I absolutely love American Airlines, as you guys can tell right here. And I thought it would be really cool to compile a video of my full American Airlines collection and go a little bit more in depth on all these models than I do in the full collection video. Um, so I thought that this would be a great way to answer any questions about my American Airlines fleet and just to compliment that a really nice video to showcase the full American Airlines lineup. Um, so yes, this is my full American Airlines collection. And as always, feel free to leave any comments if you guys have any questions about any of these airplanes. Um, this is my full American Airlines 1 to 400 scale uh, fleet. It's about 150 model aircraft. I've been, I started collecting back in 2012. So you'll see a ton of duplicates and different things through here. That's uh, because I do uh, my model airports and have long-term plans for model airports with Dallas, Fort Worth and Phoenix Sky Harbor International Airport. And the reason that I have uh, quite a few of these duplicates is uh, to replicate the realism that you'll see at these big American Airlines hubs. And I also just really like the aircraft. So yes, that's why you'll see several duplicates throughout here and even some trilets, quadruplets, or whatever you'd like to call them. So enough rambling probably in the way. I thought I would give you guys a little bit more in-depth look of my American Airlines fleet. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys for being here. And with that said, let's begin. So beginning right here, we have the all-white American Eagle Bombardier CRJ-200 livery, a really nice model right there. Then we have the two new livery CRJ-200 right here as well. These are uh, around the 2016 time frame, 2017 as well. Have an old livery American Eagle CRJ-700, got a really good deal on this a couple years ago, glad to have it in the collection. Then we have three of the American Eagle Umber ERJ, or sorry, these are the Bombardier CRJ-700s in the current paint scheme. Uh, really nice plane, very, very nice. Uh, one of the newest additions, we have the SkyWest House Livery CRJ-700. Uh, these fly for American, but it is SkyWest, so I thought I would put it here regardless, though. So, yes. Then we have the absolutely amazing American Eagle Bombardier a CRJ-900. We have five of these bad boys. Super glad to have these in the fleet. This is their first time appearing in the collection video. Lovely aircraft, man. Thank you, Gemini Jets, so much. They're absolutely beautiful. Um, one is in its original configuration slash state that I got it in. And then we have these uh, other four. Most of these have adjusted landing gear. Well, all of them do. But most of them have adjusted horizontal stabilizers as well. So really nice aircrafts right there. Then we have the two Mesa House Custom CRJ-900s that I did. These are Shapeways Customs. Look really nice. We have three American Eagle Umber ERJ-130 or 145s in the uh, older paint scheme. Pardon me. Really nice aircraft right here. Uh, two Skyliners and a Gemini Jets, my bad. Then we have the Breast Cancer Awareness American Eagle Umber ERJ-145 by JC Wings. I think it was 2016 or 17, somewhere in there. Then we have the four American Eagle Umber ERJ-145s. These are the 2015 release. Right here we have the American Eagle Umber ERJ-170. Uh, fun fact, this is actually supposed to be a number ERJ-175, but Gemini Jets doing their typical thing, so it's a 170, that's a 175 registration. Kind of funny. Next up, we have five American Eagle Umber ERJ-175. It's the first release, second release coming soon, along with the 145s. Really, really nice aircraft from 2018. Great model. And last but certainly not least, we have the American Airlines Ember ERJ-190. Really cool plane that American had in their fleet due to the merger. All right. With that said, we're going to take it into row number two. Now, as you guys know, I absolutely love American Airlines McDonald's MD-80s. So that is why you'll see several of them throughout here. So let's get started with these. We have the American Airlines McDonald's MD-80. I believe this is a two. This is the uh, Dragon Wings uh, Black Nose. Really, really cool. The Black Nose is on the front right here. American had several of these in their fleet. Very, very cool. Super glad to have that in the fleet. Then we have the non-polished JetX American Airlines McDonald's MD-80. This is a 2000-something release. Very old, but such a good model. Then we have the polished one. As you can tell, it's a polished aircraft that looks really, really nice. Next up, we have the November 573 Alpha Alpha Gemini Jets release. You'll see four of these in the fleet. Looking really good. And then I believe this one right here is the second release, November 574 Alpha Alpha that I just added. Absolutely beautiful aircraft. 
Then we have for the 2019 release, this is November 9621 Alpha, absolute facility on deck right here. Lastly, the newest one to the collection, we have the TWA Hybrid American Airlines MD-80. This one is also by Dragon Wings, absolutely beautiful aircraft. Just taking a look, oh, sorry, had some kind of inner, or, uh, conflicted there, but that is a beautiful American Airlines McDonald's MD-80 fleet. Another recent addition, the American Airlines 737-300. This one's by JC Wings, really cool plane. NG models, American Airlines 737-800, non-winglet, very nice. And then we have the November 961 Alpha November 2009 release right here. Then we have five uh, broken wing right here is from Custom. We'll talk about that more in a moment. But we have the five American Airlines McDonald, or sorry, I'm sorry, Boeing 737-800s right here, November 962 Alpha November release from 2012. Very nice. And then we have the NG models, American Airlines 737-800 right here. Sorry about the lighting. I'm going to try to hopefully get that fixed for the next row. Uh, this is the 737-800 right here from NG models. Absolutely beautiful. Uh, and then we have the flagship Freedom. What a unit right here, 2019. And then we have uh, Gemini Jets, American Airlines 737-800 right here. Looking really, really nice. And hopefully the lighting will be fixed by the time we get back down there. So my apologies. Uh, and then here we have two more Gemini Jets, American Airlines 737 800. These are a 2013 release in the current livery. Beautiful aircraft, such good vibes getting these. And then we have the Apollo one that I got a couple of years ago. Really cool plane. Then we have two 2015 releases. Um, not quite the best model in the world, but definitely suitable. And then we have the 2019 right here. Absolutely beautiful aircraft, so glad to have it. Then we have three Astro Jets. So on your left, we have a custom that I did a couple of years ago. Check out a previous Albuquerque update, April 2020, for some context. These are the two official Astro Jet special liveries that I got recently. We have on the left the Gemini Jets and on the right the NG models. So uh, corresponding interest, it would appear there from some model companies. I uh, decided to keep both just to kind of keep the American fleet on deck. Uh, next up, we have the Chrome Retro 737-800 right here by Gemini Jets, the official heritage. The NG one's just a a previous 737-800 uh, state. Then we have the three heritage liveries. Those look beautiful, don't they? We have the TWA, the Reno Air, and the Air Cal, all by Gemini Jets. The beautiful One World 737-800 by Gemini Jets, probably one of their best 737s. And then we have 737 Maxes. We have the 2018 right there on the left. And then we have two 2021s right here on the right. Absolutely stunning. Then we have the Jet Flagship 757-200 right here. What a beautiful aircraft by NG. And then we have the Gemini Jets... Uh, 757 Luxury Liner 2001 Real Metal release. And next up, we have the 757 by NG Models right here without winglets. Beautiful. And then we have the November 601 Alpha November release, the first Gemini Jets. Then we have my favorite model. This is my first American Airlines model. Uh, not this particular. Well, the actual aircraft, but in terms of I had one that broke and then I got a replacement. So my bad. But this is the November 602 Alpha November, this May 2012 release. Zinc rod's really bad. It's a hard plane to find, so I feel really fortunate. You can even see in mine that there was a cracked winglet that was fixed really nicely. But so glad to have it back on the property. Panning on down to the next side, we have the November 603 Alpha November releases. 2013, I think, somewhere in there. NG model 757-200 with winglets. Absolutely beautiful. Flagship Freedom 757. Breast Cancer Awareness 757, that's by JC Wings. The One World 757-200, this is by um, Gemini Jets. I'm excited to get the NG1 ahead. Then we have the two 2015 American Airlines 757-200 right here. These are 2015s by Gemini Jets. And then we have two from 2018 by Gemini Jets as well. Really nice planes right here. LUS tell number on that one. We have Aero Classics American Airlines A319. Somewhere in the realms of 2013 probably. Not completely sure. Then we have four American Airlines Airbus A319s. These are all by Gemini Jets right here. Very nice airplanes. And then we have the Heritage lineup, which would include uh, Piedmont on the left, PSA in, on the left middle, America West on the right middle, and the Allegheny on the far right. These are beautiful by the Blue Box. Uh, these were done about a year ago. Well, a little bit less than a year ago at this point. Really nice. And I still have my um, Gemini Jets one to compliment. Uh, then we have the two American Airlines Airbus A319s with Sharklets right here by Aero Classics, 2014 time frame, I believe. Uh, actually, a little bit earlier than that, around where that uh, fence step one came. And then we have the two, there's one, I'll get some better lighting on the one down here. Two American Airlines Airbus A319s. Um, these are the Gemini Jets 2018 release. Uh, keep note all the American Airlines aircraft that came out in 2018. Absolutely incredible. Next up, we have two 2017 A320s right here that look really nice. 
that I'm I'm sorry. This one is a custom right here with IAE engines. A uh, guy did a really good job on eBay. Well done. And then we have the uh, two 2017s with CFMs. Then we have the Legacy A320 right here with IAE engines. What a phenomenal job there by Jim Nye. Obviously being a little sarcastic there, but I think you guys understand what I'm demonstrating. Here's the A321 by Aero Classics. Again, another beautiful model. This one's seen the better of the sun for sure. Two Airbus A321s right here with fence tips and CFM engines 2018 release. This is another uh, pretty stand. If you know Gemini Jets, you probably know a little bit about that plane. Then we have the US Airways A321 Retro. Beautiful plane by Aero Classics as well. Here's an A321 uh, by Gemini 2014. Yes. Two Airbus A321s by NG Models right here. Really nice aircraft. Uh, Sharklet variants, of course. And then we have the stand up cancer as well hanging out right here. We have two American Airlines Airbus E321 Neos by Aero Classics, despite the door being in the wrong position, so they could be used as either an A321 or A321 Neo if you're not very picky about it. That's what I did for a while, that's why I have two of them. And then we have three American Airlines Airbus A321 Neos on deck right here by Gemini Jets. This is a really nice 2019 release from our boys. Really nice job there. American Airlines uh, decking into some uh, different realms here, so we'll be kind of hopping all between time frames. This is a 707-320 right here, I believe. Really cool plane in my fleet. 767-200 by Gemini Jets 2, 2005 release. And then we have two 767-300ERs without winglets for American. We have a 2001 on the left and a 2000, I think it's nine. It's eight or nine on the right right there. Really nice. Two more rows here, and we got a lot of heavies, so let's analyze. Got the absolute mighty, absolutely beautiful 767-300 right here with the winglets. Such a model right here. This thing was very sought after. So glad I was able to get it. I believe it's the most I've ever paid for one of the 400 model, $117. Incredible. 767-300 right here without winglets in the current paint scheme. Looking good. Two 767-300 right here, 2016 release. These are looking great. And then we have the 2020 release, two of those as well. Looking phenomenal. 767-300 in the one world paint scheme, 2017, I believe. Really cool plane. Chrome 777-200ER, looking great. 2012 on that one. One World 777-200ER, one of my favorites with the 757 over here. These are just out, absolutely outstanding airplanes. I love this livery so much. Here's the Breast Cancer Awareness 777-200ER, absolutely beautiful. And then we have some 777-200s for the current paint scheme. We have two from 2013, just like that 321. Those have seen better days, to say the least. A uh, 2020 release of the 777-200ER, pardon me, right here. Looks great. Then we have this 777-200ER uh, in the One World paint scheme looking really nice. 777-300ER, this one is a really cool fantasy model by Gemini Jets from 2013, I think. 12, or, 12 actually, I think. 12 or 13, somewhere in there. Really cool plane. Yeah, I think it was 12 now I think about it. I'm pretty sure. Here we have three American Airlines Boeing 777-300ZRs. This is my first one in the new livery of any American model. Such a good model, so glad to have it. And then we have uh, the third release, November 720 Alpha November. And then the fifth release, November 735 Alpha Tango. Beautiful. 2787-8s right here for the 2015 release. Then we have the 2020 hanging out right here in the middle. 2787-9s from 2017 look really nice. And then we have the Gemini Jets. Uh, they're all Gemini's. 2021. I'm sorry, 2020, late 2020 right here. A33200 by Gemini, 2017 or 16, somewhere in there. 2015 A33300. The beautiful NG model 747SP, just look at that reflection, that's incredible. Last but certainly not least, we have the American Airlines uh, DC-10 right here by Gemini Jets 2, 2005 or so release. So there it is, guys. That is my full American Airlines collection right there. <coughs> Excuse me, guys, sorry. Super glad to have this collection. It's absolutely incredible. There's definitely some planes that I would like to add to it. Absolutely. Um, my ties two on the list are the two Dragon Wings releases of the non-Black Nose MD-80s. They're super rare, and I'm still trying to find them to this day. Um, so those are definitely the highest on the list. Other planes would include, uh, but not limited to by any means, uh, the NG releases of the new liveries. That would include the 757, A33200, 787-9, etc. I think I may have missed one. Uh, 
let's see here. Just thinking of any other uh, aircraft off the top of my head. Any chromes, uh, old 777s. Uh, any 767s that I may not have. Uh, 75s are really adequate, but I would take more if we can find more. Um, and then more retro planes, uh, Elettras and uh, 727 for sure. Older 737s, um, DC 3s, 6s. I mean, anything that's part of American's history that has a model, I definitely want to get it. That's definitely high on my list. But You'll notice throughout here that most of this is more modern stuff here for American Airlines, which is okay in my opinion. So yes, what a collection this is. If you guys have any questions in the comments about this American Airlines fleet, don't hesitate to ask and I'm happy to uh, let or you know fill in and answer any questions that there may be about this collection. Uh, again, I believe it's about 150 models. Um, again, really, really happy with this fleet and I'm really excited uh, for what's to come with the American Airlines fleet. Um, very, very pleased with it. So yes, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, video a little bit more in depth about my American Airlines collection. Thank you guys so much for watching. Very much appreciated. Uh, again, super excited for what's to come. And this is one heck of a collection that I'm super excited to rock with for years to come. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. My name is Red Deer of Aviation. I would like to thank you guys so much for watching. Take it easy, everybody. Stay safe, trust the process, do what you love, and love what you do. My name is Red Deer of Aviation. I want to thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys soon as Red Deer of Aviation is signing off.